So let me talk uh, a bit about the solutions. Part five, how should WHO and FCTC reform? Okay, now, first of all, I would say focus on the right goals. Uh, the job here is to reduce as deeply and as fast as possible the burden of these non-communicable diseases, cancer, cardiovascular disease, respiratory illnesses, stroke, all the different things that are associated with smoking. So focus on harm, focus on the loss of life due to severe diseases, and that will incline you to do everything you can to move people from smoked products to smokeless products because smoke is the main cause of harm. Okay, now the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, do focus on that. They're trying to get a, uh, a deep reduction, a 30% reduction in um, uh, non-communicable diseases by uh, 2030. And if you stuck with that goal, you'd be really on the case for making uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of progress. Okay. The second thing is to embrace innovation. I would love to see a working group set up within WHO, within uh, FCTC Secretariat, to ask the question, how do we get as much as possible as we can out of these new technologies? Let's say our lives, that is health bureaucrats based in Geneva, depended on it, or our salaries or our house we'd have to give up our house we'd have to give up our careers if we didn't meet these goals for deep cuts in uh in uh, non-communicable diseases uh or deep cuts in smoking what would we actually do and the answer to that is there's no way on earth that they would ignore these uh technologies no way on earth they would become very very proactive when it comes to innovation if their own careers, their own lives depended on it. 